Hey guys, it's Friday night. It's little past midnight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sit on my desk, edit my vlog. Actually, before that, I have to erase some memory, move some documents to my hard drive because my laptop memory is full. So I'm gonna do that and then edit the vlog and then upload the vlog. And I really hope you guys enjoy the vlog because, um, well, it's it's not as short as it should be, but it has some interesting insights. Okay. Uh, just a little bit of highlight I broke a couch by the way so so anyways enjoy the vlog see you later hey you guys it's Saturday morning uh, it's Saturday afternoon 3 p.m. what happened was that I woke up early a little early then I started watching all the TV shows that I missed on Royal Plains uh, Royal Pains and then uh, Array's uh, Aisha which is actually a good show. It's about artificial intelligence. They have taken a lot of creative liberty and they are technically wrong a lot of times, but it's a fiction show, so who cares? Then I also edited the video that I want to post on Monday, which is now almost ready and somebody's coming up. Bye. Sorry, I had to stop vlogging because my family was coming home. I was alone in the morning when I was vlogging earlier uh, and now uh, they are home and it's already night and oh, there's a lot of glare. So um, I found my old diaries I used to write. I did not remember them and uh, I found them now. So I was reading them. I went spent about two hours reading my old diaries, which is fun because it's all about my ex-girlfriend and how I used to think and movie reviews and all that. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, uh, it's a good place to vlog because behind me is my old office, Infosys. Uh, I used to, I, I came here for a training and I lived here inside the guest house for about a month and it was amazing. This place is amazing and I miss, I miss the campus sometimes. Not, not the work, but the campus of definitely. Oof. So people are looking at me like I'm some crazy dude talking to the camera. Uh, but anyway, uh, so what what happened is that I dropped my parents off, um, actually my mom and my aunt and uncle off at the station and now I'm going home um, because every all of my friends are busy today. Maybe I just didn't call a few of them because I want to spend some time uh, watch some TV series and just, just be by myself for some time. So it's Sunday and uh, that's what happened today so all day i was just sitting there doing nothing uh, maybe i learned to do the rubik's cube but now i'm going home and i miss my relatives so it's gonna be different at home i'm gonna stay here for one week and next sunday i go to pune to meet other friends my karen and Utkas. yay it's gonna be fun so i'll see you later bye bye good morning it is jobless monday and i uploaded a video it's 9 a.m right now and i shared it with my friends ryu is here to tell me a story and wake me up but i am very sleepy but i will wake up because now i am alone in the house with my cousin and her husband and ryu my parents and my relatives are gone so now we have to take care of things say hi ria hi give us a big <laughs> See you later. Hey, what's up, people? So, I did it. Now, give me any combination and I can do it. But still, still, I don't know the logic behind it. I just memorize all of the parts that I should be doing, more all of the algorithms that I should be following. So, basically, I'm just good at mugging up things. That's all. But. I did it anyway and I'm really happy that I'm able to do it because right now I'm absolutely a lot more smarter than a lot of people which makes me feel good because I could at least memorize the algorithm so yeah and what else mm, I have 150 views on my video actually I don't know I don't know people are saying that uh, they are enjoying the video but I don't know why I'm not getting views are people bored of watching my videos or are they just ignoring my notifications because i've been posting a lot or whatever is the reason um there are a few people who actually are you know texting me and telling me that i'm doing good and i should continue doing it uh because one day it will be okay it'll be viral or it will go good or there will be more and more viewers 
and i sincerely hope so because um theoretically speaking i only have six months to prove that i can be something other than a corporate employee so six months it is let's see what happens next uh, that's it from monday i'm gonna go to bed it's about uh, 1 1 a.m right now so i'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow is a bright day let's see how it goes there's thunders outside i couldn't go out uh today we just went out for dinner but then came back home because there's it's thunderous it, there's a storm outside so anyway see you later bye bye ah it is tuesday evening what is it we are playing with the doggy her name is chocolate we'll call chocolate here chocolate No chocolate. So, what are you going to tell mom? What do you want? I want a kitty. You want a kitty. You don't want a doggy. You want a kitty. Okay. So, what will you do with the kitty? Um, I want to play with this kitty. Okay. So, it will be a real kitty. Okay. Real kitty or do you want stuffed kitty? Stuffed kitty. Not a real kitty. Okay. Only stuffed kitty. Only stuffed kitty. Do you want a stuffed doggy? Okay. Are you afraid of doggies? Yes. Why are you afraid of doggies? They don't bite. No, I want not want to. I don't want to. I want to only get a kitty. Okay, only kitty. So we will go up and tell mama you want a kitty, okay? Say okay, then we'll say bye bye to them now. Bye. Say bye. Oops, afraid of heights. <laughs> My watch. Is it okay? Yes. Hey, what's up you guys? How are you doing? How are you doing? It's Wednesday. It's uh Wednesday 5 p.m. and I just shaved and look what I did accidentally. I had to cut my What is this called in English? Sideburns, yes. Sideburns a little too much. Okay. So I'm upset. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I've never really considered physical appearance a uh, really necessary thing in a person. So I'm not upset. I just look the good. I I just look good the way I am. So that's it. I'm gonna, you know, uh, gather some guts today and go for a open mic for stand up comedy. And last week I wanted to go, but I chickened out. And uh, this week, I. I don't want to chicken out. I want to go. I really want to go, and I will. Uh, hopefully, I hope so. So wish me luck. Well, wait. By the time you see this, I'll probably be done, or either I wouldn't have gone. So let's see. Another thing, um, I have a great announcement. Um, so stick stick in the vlog. I'll come back uh, tonight or maybe tomorrow, and I'll let you know uh, what the announcement is. See you later. Hey guys. So. I did not go for the stand up because I got stood up. Uh the plan was that I would go with a friend of mine but uh turned out that all my friends are busy. Nobody has time at 8 8 7 30 p.m. right because well they are busy. Um that's how corporate culture is. Um, so I couldn't go alone. I couldn't, you know, step up to go alone there. It's I mean I was prepared. I had a script uh, about uh I had a script. Okay, let's not discuss what was it about because someday I will get a chance and I will do it. So I had a script, but I didn't go. Um, maybe next time, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, the other announcement that I have is I got through uh, the viral fever's first round of uh, TVF Right Club competition. So now it's time for round two, which is really tough because I have three levels of uh, like. Uh, I don't know three levels of examination. I guess uh, I have to submit three articles as in scripts, uh, screenplays. So I, it's gonna be a tough one uh, with everything going on. I have to go to Pune on Sunday. I have to still prepare a video uh, for Monday. Um, I have to stay in Pune for 
all seven eight days and we are going on a trip so huh, there's a lot to do but uh, it's good news that i got selected and i'm really happy that it happened but let's see what happens next okay see you later bye bye hey guys what's up how are you doing uh, it's thursday night and i'm really sorry i did not vlog today but there was nothing to vlog i what i did was i booked some tickets for my parents they're traveling uh, somewhere tomorrow uh, my sister is going with them as well i booked them a hotel because these are the things that i'm very good with uh, booking tickets getting hotels and i'm jobless so uh, i'm basically the travel agent of the family but <clears throat> the day uh, began really late because I, I went to bed at 5 a.m. I'm working on improving my website every single day optimizing it so uh, it takes me hours and hours of work at night and uh, I went to bed really late I woke up really late and then I spent a lot of time on booking these tickets um, then I did nothing much um, but uh, I got a really really sad news today um, one of my best friends one of my closest friends uh, has a dog and uh, the dog lost its leg so he is now he went through a surgery yesterday and uh, he is now with three legs only so that is very sad news because I consider this dog very close to my heart and I have always followed the, his progress um, I've loved him even though I haven't met him ever but I have loved him a lot and uh, it, it makes me really sad to know that um, his, he, he went through this accident, whatever it was. We don't know actually how he lost his leg. Uh, so, but there is some learning to take from the dog because the dog, um, he's one year old, right? And he must have fought for his life. Whatever he did, he was protecting someone probably, he fought for his own life or he was just, he just went through an accident, but he survived. The, the important thing is that a dog whose leg was removed completely, was, was not there at all when it was found, he survived. And I mean, I can't imagine myself losing a limb and surviving at the same time, right? I can't. And he survived and which is, he is the symbol of bravery okay and and this is the example should be taken in every sector of the life because imagine you are in any situation right people are bullying you or pinning you down or whatever they are doing you need to fight back because you may lose a limb but you're gonna survive there right you need to fight back because if you let somebody pin you down you're never going to be what you want it to be or you're never even going to survive and and really this is the lesson that we should take from this dog maybe his harms were physical but there are so many stresses that are mental and uh, in these cases also you need to know that you need to fight till you are out of it okay never ever give up always always fight always fight for the right thing always fight for what is what is what your dreams are what is on your mind always do that okay um, maybe if you are indian your parents will not understand when you are arguing with them for something that you believe in but i argued with my parents and i made them understand that i need this break that i am on right now and they understood and they are supportive now maybe two years ago they wouldn't have agreed to this but this is the thing you want to marry someone of your choice and your parents are not letting you do that talk to them convince them argue with them you know make them realize what is close to your heart and what matters to you the most always always fight uh, not literally you don't have to you know stop talking to your parents or uh, you know get into a ring with your dad no don't do that but kill them with kindness you know that's what they say so be nice to them be kind to them make them make them realize that they matter to you but some somebody else also matters to you or something else also matters to you if you want to get into a career as an artist do that right now okay if you want to leave your job like me do that okay follow your dreams they take and everything everything that i'm saying right now everything comes out of one incident a dog was going to die and he survived even after his leg was chopped off 
this is what we have to do we have to keep be be there no matter what happens and i've been talking for five whole minutes now so i'm going to stop now this is my thursday discussion for today i had a lot of topics to discuss but this incident made me realize that uh, there is nothing more to the world than to fight for what you believe in so do it right now do it and i'm going to see you tomorrow then bye bye so i'm looking for a sound uh, for a female ouch and this is what i'm finding right now stop i am going to have nightmares tonight why why are these sounds even available on the internet why <sighs> see you later okay so this is freaking me out right um i know nobody's going to say anything or maybe they will be angry uh, but we're going to have to get it fixed but this is what happened uh the sofa broke and i'm trying to fix it but it will not work there needs to be a, a carpenter that needs to come and fix it but how did it break okay i was walking and i was planning a scene in the hall where it includes jumping and it's going to look so bad when i do that scene um so it it includes jumping but before i could start jumping i wanted to clean the room a little bit and i was walking and i stepped on one of these <clears throat> toys and it just slipped it slipped and i don't know somehow i fell on the sofa and it broke um i'm going to make the call to my cousin now and tell her what happened i'm really scared i have never i mean ever since i came here people were telling me that i'm going to break something and i didn't break anything and i broke something today which is so freaking expensive Oh my god. The universe has a way of telling you to not mess with things and I did and oh. Okay, I'm going to make the call now. See you later. Bye-bye. So I did not get much punishment for breaking the couch. Only I had to take Riyanshi for uh, downstairs for babysitting and she is the one owner. She <laughs> forgave me. it was accidental okay so it was not completely my fault the, the toy it was reuse fault she kept the toys here it was reuse fault no it wasn't reuse fault it was my fault i ah she's looking at me it was my fault so that's it from friday vlog i'm going to see you later guys then i guess bye bye hope you enjoyed the vlog and if you did please press that like button right now come on do it do it now and subscribe to my channel because i make vlogs every week you can go watch my videos from my main channel the links are in the description below go enjoy them i make good videos i do seriously yeah shalini would you like to do the honors space first it's indian sweets okay kaju kali Hi. She's cooking Hi. for us. She's like the best person ever. She's cooking for us while we are here sitting and chilling on